Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today we're going to install SyncThing on Docker using Pertainer. For those of you who aren't aware, SyncThing is a continuous file synchronization platform. It kind of reminds you of Dropbox. It'll allow you to sync files between two or more computers. You could set one of your computers up as a backup server and you can have all of your computers back up to it. You can also set it to synchronize files between all of your computers. That way you have multiple backups. Ultimately, it's a really good way to protect yourself from data loss. You also don't have to rely on third-party companies to uh, store your files. As always, we'll be using a Docker container image that's maintained by linuxserver.io. There will be a link to the container on the Docker Hub and a link to the linuxserver.io website in the description below. The first thing we want to do when we install SyncThing is to open up our Pertainer application and click on Containers. From there, you're going to want to click on Add Container. We're going to call this one Sync Thing. And like I stated before, we will use the Linux server Sync Thing image from the Docker Hub. Sync Thing will need a few ports to be published. Um, just a reminder, if you're going to try to sync between computers outside of your network, you're, you'll want to allow these ports through your internet gateway. All right, the first port that we are going to publish is port 8384. The second port is 22000. And the final port is 21027. Make sure that over here on the right side, you click on UDP. Next, we're going to create a couple bind mounts. First is going to be the configuration folder. Um, on the container is slash config. And on my machine, it is slash home slash pi slash docker slash sync thing slash config. Got a little crazy there. Um, I've also created two folders that we will use to sync. The first one is going to be slash documents. Any folder that you map from the host to the container will be seen by sync thing. Next volume we'll create as a bind mount for our media folder that we created. Slash home slash pi slash media. Next, we're going to want to set some environment variables. This is a Linux server container, so we're going to want to use at least the PGID and PUID variables. Set them both to 1000. And then we're going to want to set our time zone. All right, next we're going to want to set our restart policy. Um, for this container, we're going to want to make sure it says unless stopped. That way the container is always running. And then we can click deploy. Depending on your machine and internet connection, this could take a couple minutes. We'll speed it up. All right, looks like our container is running. We can now go to our Docker host IP address in our browser and put semicolon 8384 at the end. That should take us to the sync thing user interface. Allow anonymous usage reporting. I'm going to click no. The first thing you're going to want to do is set a password to your admin interface. You can do that by clicking settings and clicking GUI. Admin password and then hit save. It's immediately going to refresh and prompt you for the password that you just put in. And here we are. Now you'll be able to create your folders and connect your other remote devices. So let's add our documents folder that we mounted. There it is, it automatically popped up. We will call it documents and hit save. And then now we've got to add our media folder. So under folder path to slash media, it should auto populate. 
There it is. Oops, I forgot to put the folder name, so we'll edit that. Media. Or those are the two volumes that we mounted in Pertainer. They link to the Documents folder and the Media folder on our Docker host. To make it easier, you're going to want to add a device name and settings. This one I'll call Sync Things Server. That's how it'll show up when you add it to other machines. And that's all there is to it. If this video helped you at all, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and consider subscribing. Thanks.